The Udana, section 3.7, Kassapa. Thus have I heard, at one time the Lord was staying near Rajagaha in the bamboo wood at the squirrel's feeding place. On that occasion, the venerable Mahakassapa was staying in the Pipali cave, sitting cross-legged for seven days, having attained a certain state of concentration. Then, at the end of those seven days, the Venerable Mahakasapa emerged from that concentration. After emerging, the Venerable Mahakasapa thought, What if I should enter Rajagha for alms food? At that time, five hundred devatas were busily preparing alms food for the Venerable Mahakasapa, but having refused the offerings of those five hundred devatas, the Venerable Mahakasapa robed himself in the forenoon and, taking his bowl and outer cloak, entered Rajgha for alms food. On that occasion, Sakka, the ruler of the Devas, wishing to give alms food to the Venerable Mahakasapa, assumed the appearance of a weaver weaving at a loom, while Suja, the Asura maiden, filled the shuttle. Now, the Venerable Mahakasapa, walking for alms food in Rajagha on an uninterrupted alms round, came to the dwelling of Sakka, the ruler of the Devas. Seeing the Venerable Mahakasapa coming from afar, Sakka, the ruler of the Devas, came out of the house and went to meet him. Taking the bowl from his hand and going into the house, he took boiled rice from a pot, filled the bowl, and gave it to the Venerable Mahakasapa. And this alms food included various kinds of curry, various kinds of sauce, curry of various kinds of excellent tastes and flavors. Then the Venerable Mahakasapa thought, Who is this being who has such supernormal potency and power? Then the Venerable Mahakasapa thought, Is it not Sakka, the ruler of the Devas? Realizing it was, he said, This is your doing, Kosia. Do not do such a thing again. We too need merit, revered Kasapa. We too should make merit. Then Sakka, the ruler of the Devas, having prostrated himself to the Venerable Mahakasapa, keeping his right side towards him, rose into the sky. While suspended in the sky, three times he uttered this inspired utterance, Ah, the best almsgiving! On Kassapa, alms is well donated. The Lord, with divine hearing, purified, and surpassing that of humans, heard Sakka, the ruler of the Devas, suspended in the sky, uttering three times this inspired utterance. Then, on realizing its significance, the Lord uttered on that occasion this inspired utterance. The devas hold dear such a bhikkhu who collects his food on alms round, self-sufficient, supporting no other, who is calm and ever mindful.